in about 2005. I had so many scraps, didn't know what to do with them, and I just kept making more. Well, so I looked online to find ways to use the scraps, and I found this, and I'll leave a link to the artist's uh, website. Now, I'm not going to use this entire sheet of paper. Now, one thing I did find out about this, it's the process is not something I totally enjoy doing. It calls for a bit of creativity and, and the mess of it all. The, the craziest part is that it starts off being really, really messy. Uh, and you'll see. But this part of it, this upcoming part of it, I don't enjoy. But the result I do. Okay, I'm going to use the background wood mount stamp on this. And I'm going to use chocolate chip ink. I don't know if this is the one that's been called early espresso. Okay. Ah, crapazoid. I think I just smeared it. Besides, it's going to be covered over. The next thing that you do is you take your scrap pieces of paper, any of any paper, and you just tear pieces off and glue them all over. Just tear them and you don't have to ink them or you can if you want to but you don't really have to. Okay, I've got all of the lighter colored stuff on. I've just randomly glued this stuff down anywhere. Okay now I want to use the scraps of some color. Now you can add another layer by stamping images in. Okay. Okay, this is just mostly for sparkle. That's it. This part of it is just for sparkle. And now you can add other colors, inks, whatever you want to do. You can add acrylic paint. I'm going to add some gold. And you can kind of see it in there. Versamark. I'm going to put Versamark all over this stamp. Alright, I'm going to use some of my own turquoise embossing powder. Okay, well that turned out to be kind of a mess, but it's all right. Okay, once more with the Versamark. There's still some on there, so I don't have to add a whole lot. And I'm going to put black on. Well, okay. Okay, this time I'm going to try it with the brayer. See if I can get that ink transferred onto the paper. Okay, I'm going to try a little bit more of this iridescent ice. Probably a gargantuan mess, but all right. So this is the front side, and it is shiny. 
I'm going to cut this into one and a half inch squares. Okay, now I have these cut out, and if you don't have embossing powders, don't worry about it. Use pattern paper, um, all different kinds of pattern paper. And if you don't have stamp ink, if you don't have rubber stamps, just glue patterned paper, all colors, or stay within a color theme. Okay, now that the worst part is over, at least for me, oh, if you want to add any um, eyelets and run ribbon through, do it before you mount them on on the the mats. Okay, so there's one finished. Okay, with a white gel pen, I wrote tick tock all the way around this piece, the black. Okay, now I've put three of these floral black brads on and one of the legs is sticking out at the side here. Some wire cutter like things and then just snip that off. There's that one. And then I'm going to hang the charm from there. <coughs> okay. And there it is, dressed with ribbon. Intricate stuff. You can do little things. And this is punched. I did a row of faux stitching around the outside. And all that's on this one is just a grommet. Okay. And there's one with a bead. It has gold metallic thread added. This one is just a simple button tied with gold metallic thread. Okay, there's one with a bow. Okay, there it is with the little beads 